let's take a moment and get familiar with our OAuth software. On the very top, you have a title bar, and that's going to show you the level of software that you're running, uh, as well as the serial number of your machine. Now, if you have multiple machines uh, connected, um, it's going to show the serial number of the machine that currently has focus. Below that, you have a menu bar. These menus will contain several commands. Uh, to the right of those commands, you may see a keyboard shortcut. So if you want to know how to do that, uh, just look over on that right-hand side and you can access those via the keyboard. Below that, you have toolbars. These toolbars are movable and dockable if you would prefer just click on the handle to drag it off, double click to snap it back into place. If you don't know what a tool does, you can hover over it and a tooltip will pop up. To the left side, you'll have your machine list. If you have multiple machines, they will be listed out um, there. To the right, you have a view window. This big area will display your hoop. It will also display your design. It's very kind of odd to, to see one that does not have a design, except for the very first time you hook a machine up to a computer. On the right-hand side, you have the status tab, um, and this is going to be where we set the majority of our machine settings. And pretty much when loading a design and, and running through, uh, I just go right down the right hand side and, and fill out all of this information. On the bottom you kind of have this uh, status bar down here. Um, it's going to show you kind of error messages or, or communication messages from the machine. You've got your speed again. It's going to be your max speed um, as well as what the machine is currently doing. Then right here you have a progress bar and that will that will fill in as the machine sews. Uh, here you have a percentage being done, the current color change that you are on, the current needle that you're on, and the X and Y position.